Hi Aquarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your weekly reading for February 26th through March 4th. Generally, my readings are love readings. We will see whatever comes up. could be some kind of blockage here maybe there's a break maybe there's a divorce on the horizon I'm not sure this is no commitment um, lack of faith as well somebody may need some guidance seeking counseling lack of hope so what the heck lack of hope and faith oh lack of excitement it's like oh Please, I'm looking for positive messages here. So, somebody here is having a lack of drive, lack of low energy. It's low energy, and I'm sorry, I can't. This is in your hands, not mine. I'm just the messenger, okay? There's a lack of inspiration, lack of hope, lack of um, faith and trust and excitement for the future it's like you, you guys are probably feeling quite lost at this time you may be feeling like you're going nowhere um yeah it's like i'm not enjoying the finer not enjoying the finer things haven't reached the point where you feel good about yourself I, many of you are feeling quite lost at this time feeling alone um unable to give unable to put energy into anything at this time you know, maybe you're feeling like you've got your guard up on the defensive, like you need to defend yourself. Why? Why do you need to defend yourself? You know, you may be feeling like you're being attacked in some way. Dead inside. Oh, my God, you guys. Over relationship. You guys may be feeling like at a complete loss because of a relationship. Maybe you just don't want to be single and somebody has made you single. <laughs> You know, it, it appears like there's no new growth in re, in a relationship, no new growth in a relationship, and it may be making you feel like you're dead inside, or you've reached a dead end, and now there's no hope, there's no future. You know, I I, I lack faith in this because I can't I can't see I can't see the future anymore. In some, there's no. It's like, oh my God, somebody is withdrawn. I think there's been a break in a commitment. There's been some kind of breakup, some kind of loss. Um, there has definitely been uh, a disheartening um, break of a contract, break of a relationship or a commitment that has caused a lot of discord and content, discontent. Now you guys have reached a point where you can't move out of it. You can't. You can't even look forward. I've I've lost all hope for the future, and it's because of a a relationship that didn't work out. Okay, and I feel as though, you know, you may be feeling very cold-hearted, bitter, withdrawn, um, unhappy, at complete loss. I'm at a complete loss right now, and that's how you probably feel during this week, like. All has been lost, and, I, and I'm quite unhappy about it. I mean, that's that's what I'm, I'm getting from this. It feels as though you you feel like you can't even move forward. I'm, how am I going to move on without this person in my life? Oh, dear. So you may be feeling quite defensive you know what I mean on the defensive because of this loss you know there, there's some kind of, of of loss that is causing you to be quite cold-hearted at this time you know I, and that's a normal feeling so I don't think it's just you everybody goes through that you know I think there was a feeling of I can't, I, I'm at, and I'm in shock, I can't believe this has happened, this kind of, that kind of feeling, I can't believe that 
this didn't work out because I was I was truly in love with whoever this is. There was this was a love situation, and and now you are um, having to let go, let it go, or it's left your life, or something, you know. And so you've lost all faith. You've la lost all belief in the future of the of any anything good coming like this again. The thing is, is it's time for you to, and this could be the sign of Aries. You could be dealing with an Aries. You could be dealing with um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, um, Taurus, Aquarius, which is you right here. But that's you with lack of hope and lack of hope and faith in this future. Lacking hope and faith. But this is Aries. <laughs> I feel as though there's there's some kind of loss that causes a lot of hurt and and disorganization and I feel like things you just need to you're going to have to remain strong remain really strong during this period and you're being called to just do your best be the be the be be your own leader okay be your own advocate during this time because whatever happened was meant to be okay it really was it was it was it was meant to be it was divinely guided first of all these are both majors and you have a lot of majors okay so there's a there's this is a divinely guided change of course which i feel like you you are feeling like it wasn't you're feeling like this wasn't the right time i didn't want this to end but it had to end so i feel as though you know the the time has come for justice to be served, even though it really, really, really hurts. It really, really hurts. It was karma. There is there is definitely some karma here. I feel as though there's definitely, there could be a divorce or a split or where this divorce actually becomes final now. Or there's, it could even be the beginning. But I feel like there is a finality here where something becomes final and it's it's heartbreaking. Okay, there's a finality that is heartbreaking and you can't deny it you it's the truth it's the truth you know you can't deny this anymore it's like something has been removed that may cause you to feel very withdrawn and sorrowful you know full of sorrow and you know I feel as though you have a lot of life experience behind your back and this might push you out of your comfort zone a little bit but you you have the skills to to get through this. You do have the skills to get through this. It's not like you haven't ever been through something hurtful like this before. Be you will be fine. You will be. I feel as though you guys are are just have a lot of doubt. You have a lot of doubt and fear that things will ever be right again. And but they will be. They will be. Okay. Right now, this is just a. Uh, a lesson that you're going through that is going to bring you something better in the end but it's hard to see that right now I think right now there's just a lot of sorrow because there was a commitment there was a commitment but I think the commitment has been broken and you are called to have strength and willpower and discipline to get through it it's going to take a lot of strength and devotion to yourself, to healing, to get through this. I feel as though, you know, you may be feeling very cold-hearted and you're being called to dig down deep to <clears throat> nurture yourself, okay? Oh. Yeah, there's been, a, there's been a completion of a relationship. There's been, or a death, okay? There's been a death of a relationship, a death of something that has really brought about a feeling of, What's going on? Why is this happening? How is this ever going to get better? What am I ever going to find? What I'm looking for? I got a complete loss here. Nothing is ever going to change for me. You know, I'm down, down in the dumps, very much down in the dumps, you know, because you want that ultimate commitment and something didn't work out. I think there's been some kind of change that has caused a disheaval in your life that is very disheartening. Yes, of course, there has been some sort of break, some kind of break up, some kind of um, split that, that really, really, really hurts. And your, your lack of, of even wanting to give energy to anything right now is pretty prominent. It's like, I don't, I don't even want to talk to anybody. I think you're feeling like you don't, 
you're withdrawn. I'm, I'm, this is a week of being withdrawn. I, I'm very sad about this whole situation. You know, I just, I just need to take this time to be withdrawn, to heal, to get through this. So I feel like you're building strength during this time of withdrawal, despite what anybody else might think. And they might want to get you out and try to get you to do something. But you're healing. I think you're going through a period of healing right now. And it hurts. Something hurts really, really bad. And I feel as though, you know, you haven't, you, ha you need this time to release it, whatever it is. You need this time to release it. Because you you have to do what's right for you. You have to you have to take action that fits you you you. You know what I mean? You it's not what going down the path that everybody else wants you to go down. It's the path that you want to go down. And I think that's what you're doing now. You are bringing some structure back to your life through withdrawal. That's what it looks like. I need to I need to get my my shit back together and I need to do it alone. And that's what I see. It sees like it feels to me like you just want to be alone. Yeah. Oh god, the hermit. That's about being alone, okay? Loneliness, all right? Maybe you you're going through some sort of midlife crisis right now where you are learning a huge lesson with that nine of wands. You're learning something. You are learning something through this process of despair that you're going through. You're learning something. And I think you have these fears right now of growing old alone because you lost somebody that you thought was forever. But your hard work is going to pay off. Okay? Keep working on yourself. Eventually you will get what you what you deserve. Okay? Your hard work always pays off. Right now I don't feel like there's any new offers of love because you're still hurting over a loss of somebody else, a loss of a something. You're hurting over a loss. So I feel like you're not able to accept love from any other direction truly at this time. You're unable to invest yourself fully in another person because of some loss of a commitment. And you're still working that out. You're still working on fixing yourself. So is new love coming in this week? No. <clears throat> I feel like this is a week of... I don't have the energy to focus on anything but me because I have some work to do. I have to heal myself right now and I'm feeling quite withdrawn and I need to really do what's right for me. I need to stand up for myself right now. It just feels like there's a loss of faith, there's a loss of hope, there's a loss of inspiration, there's a loss of excitement, there's a loss of energy, there's a loss of feeling like you even want to be around anybody. I just want to take the time I need to get through this. So please don't bother me. That's what I see. <clears throat> Many of you are, are feeling very down in the dumps. And, you know, I can't change that. The only one that can is you. And I think that comes with time. I think you are absolutely working on getting your life back on track right now, bringing the organization back, and you need to take all the time that it, that it needs, okay? Family. This could have to do with a family member, okay? This doesn't have to be a lover. There's been some kind of split. Somebody, you know, has left. And it, it causes a hurt. Family. This situation is rooted in an emotional experience with a family member. Which we can help you to understand and heal. In your mind and heart. Surround this person, yourself, and the experience with calming blue light. And many angels. Be open to the gifts within the situation. And allow yourself to feel peace. And that's what this is. I feel like this is a is a week of maybe it's even old memories, okay? Of an old split. It's it's some kind of healing period that is needed because of some hurt that has come up. Whether it's past hurt that has resurfaced or it's new hurt. 
some kind of split, some kind of somebody leaving is on the surface. And you are being called to just acknowledge the feelings, the emotional experience, and allow yourself to feel peace and realize that everything happens for a reason. So Aquarius, I feel like this week is a week of loss of loss of energy, loss of faith and trust. Perhaps even in humanity or in the future. But it, this too shall pass. Because you have a lot of life experience and mental strength behind your back. Talk to you later.